We're here in East London today with the reigning, defending and also new Killer Cam Fight Night champion, Darren, the dentist Stewart. Darren, congratulations. Thank you, I must you. say that first of all, fantastic and brutal, <laughs> bloody and dangerous performance. Yeah. Um, tell us how you felt going into the fight. Um, as usual, I feel nervous, you know, no doubt about that. Um, but when I'm in there, it just, it just all shuts off. Like, hard to explain I told people like why is that why is the nerves at the beginning and then when you get in there it all shuts off um, so once I was in there I was just comfortable and I just had to move and all I do is listen to my corner I have faith in my corner when they, what, they tell me what to do and I do it so um, I, I did feel comfortable and I feel much better like the fight before that um, I went all the way and that that fight there with Lloyd just made me stronger yeah. much stronger so going to this fight I felt comfortable it's excluding nerves at the beginning but in the fight I felt comfortable so I felt good did you have a specific game plan going into this fight? No, uh, I don't never have a game plan. I just do what I'm good at and just adapt to what they give me. You know, so because um, MMA is MMA, obviously you have some sort of game plan. I might choose to keep it standing or go on the ground now and then, but I ain't got a strong, strong game plan. Um, my movement is enough, and um, I just got to adapt to what they give me. So, like I said, MMA is MMA. Anything can happen. So I don't believe in game plans. So, you know. so yeah, anyway. Talk us through, you know, your feelings actually going towards, going through and towards this fight. You know that um, Carl is, you know, strong. He's a big bomb thrower as well. You know, you're not, you're very much known for your striking ability. You know, tell us actually how you felt going through the motions of, of Killer Cam Fight Night. Um, I felt like really pressured because um, <clears throat> I was on Killer Cam before as an amateur. So going pro and that's a big thing. And um, they put me in for a title, which is a big thing and main event was a big thing yeah. so all of that kind of stuff and fighting Carl Kinslow you know like he's been in the game for a long time it's a yeah. big thing so yeah. it was just not pressure and it's happened so quick I've only been doing MMA for like um, five years um, but my first two years I got loads of pullouts so let's just say I've been doing MMA for three years you know what I mean so um, it was just a lot of pressure to deal with um, but I kind of dealt with like I said in the case I dealt with it okay just before that it, it was hard hard to deal with and my coach has said to me you know get used to it which yeah. is good you know because obviously I'm going to be coming for a lot more belts in the future um, but yeah how I felt for it, I just I felt good in the cage um, the pressure like I said the pressure is the one that really got me but it's normal man so I'm going to have to deal with when I'm older so the fight itself was you know a spectacular performance by yourself it was incredibly brutal it was shocking some people have said that's you know the you know absolute worst knockout that they've seen live. I mean, you said that you spoken to Carl yourself. I mean, how did you actually feel about the knockout? How do you feel about <coughs> fighting somebody as well that you kind of speak to yeah. loosely and has given you advice? I felt bad, man. Not gonna lie, but end of the day, <coughs> like he said, you know, he's coming for the win. He's coming for the gold. And end of the day, I'm not saying well, he might have done it to me. I like to say that they'll do it to me, do you know what I mean? <clears throat> so, it's a thing where I have to do something like that. It's between that or a future for my family. So I'm gonna do that to have a future for my family, do you know what I mean? So, um, you know, I do feel bad, I'm not gonna lie, but it is what it is, do you know what I mean? I've gotta do what I've gotta do to get up there in the game. So, like I said, I do know him and he gave me a lot of advice in the future, you know, how to carry myself in MMA life and stuff like that. I had to go about being a pro and stuff and fighting him and doing that. <clears throat> You know, I felt a bit bad, and I don't tell a lot of people this. I never said it on camera before, but <clears throat> after the fight, I go home. I think to myself, did I just do that? I don't tell people that. You know what I mean? Like it's weird. It's like it's, it's another, another down in there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's that's no joke. And I just when I come out of there, when I'm done, <clears throat> and I come home, I snap out of it. I look back and I just think to myself, wow, did I do that? Uh, it's a weird feeling, man. Like a fighter, don't know what I'm talking about. As spectacular as a knockout as that is, do you think that a knockout as spectacular as that may have an adverse effect on your career? For example, there's going to be other fighters on the domestic scene that are going to say, Darren the Dentist Stewart, I don't think so. Uh, at this level I'm at now, yeah. Hopefully, I'm praying not. I want to get more fights, but at this level, yeah. But if you're talking like maybe UFC level, you know, Bellator, stuff like that, um, <clears throat> it's normal. Yeah, them, them, them knockouts happen all the time, so fighters always come and fight each other. But at this level, it, it might be hard to get another fight, but hopefully not. Do you know what I mean? Um, it just is what it is. 
you know what I mean? Like I said, MMA is MMA, anything can happen. Who's to say that if I fight again, it's gonna, not going to happen, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It might happen, might not yeah. happen. Some fights are just boring, some fights you grapple the whole time, no one's injured, end of story, do you know what I mean? So, hopefully not. I mean, if you're in this industry anyway, if you're fighting this kind of MMA game, what's the point of being scared? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Then you should be doing the first place, just go train and go home, do you know what I mean? But if you're a fighter, you shouldn't look at that as, yeah. oh, I don't want to fight him because he's done a knockout like that. But, you know, we see how it goes, you know? I'm always going to keep fighting anyway, so, yeah. You got your first major title, how yeah. does it feel? Great man, because um, I've been doing Taekwondo for a long time um, and uh, all I've been doing is just getting medals, 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 medals. I came to um, MMA and there's no medals. So getting this belt is like a big medal for me, you know what I mean? Because I've been, I, I fought abroad and stuff like that and you win some and you lose some and you get, you get something to go home with. MMA, coming from an amateur scene and pro scene, you just win ticket money, whatever, little purse here and there, but you don't get nothing. But this is my first big medal that I've probably got in my life, so it's really great to have it, man. So, what next? Tell us, what does the remainder of 2015 hold for Darren the Dentist Stewart? Um, keep fighting, defend this title, man, and keep improving. Um, like I said, every fight you watch, I've improved. Um, yeah, just, just keep improving, man, just learn. I go to other gyms, I just take advice from people, you know? Like I said to other people, I don't just do MMA, I do other stuff outside, I dance and stuff like that. I might do other different arts and stuff like that. I don't just do the basic MMA kind of martial arts. So I always say just go outside the box, do you know what I mean? And just explore the world, man, do something different. The people that focus on MMA too much, they're the ones that get a bit messed up in the head and just wonder why they're losing. You just, just relax, you know what I mean? Know that when you go to work, you keep work at work, keep MMA at MMA, I don't bring it home, do you know what I'm saying? So I bring the belt home, but that's about it. But, <laughs> Yeah, I don't bring MMA home, so, um, yeah, like I said, for the future, to keep improving and defend the title, man. Simple as that, man. Have you got anybody that you'd like to thank? <laughs> yeah, I want to thank um, my coaches, my training partners, my missus and my son, you know, um, they got all my boys, I mean, like, Mo, John, you know, Shane, all them lot, Richard, everyone. Uh, shout out to Make Clinic, shout out to you guys for this um, documentary, this video. Um, big up Killer Cam as well, you know, for um, bringing their show. Um, loads of shout outs, man, you know, shout out my salsa people, you know what I mean? Like, shout out my dancer people, shout out my work people, just everyone, everyone in some sort of way, you know, supports me. You know, shout out all the gyms I go to, you know, like, um, her, like, my couple coaches like Brett and stuff like that. Um, Jim Renewal training with him and that, you know what I mean? Um, other guys like Team Titan guys, shout them out as well, like, shout out everyone to be honest man. Like, every little thing I do, it helps, do you know what I mean? Every little thing I do, it helps, so shout out everyone, do you know what I mean? God bless everyone and I want to keep going and just prove to the world that I'll be number one one day, so, you yeah. know, Well, that's it. The Killer Cam Fight Night Champion, Darren the Dentist Stewart. Thank you very much, pleasure as always, you, and we'll catch up you. with you soon. Right, thank you. Take thank care. You.